Good morning. It is so good to be with you this glorious Sunday morning. I hope you're well. As you can tell, I'm still in Neva, Colombia, South America, and I'm sitting on the, my son's balcony. As you can see behind me, there's that big mango tree that I have so often spoken about. And right next to that, right up where my finger is, are the Andes Mountains, but you can't see them because there's such a haze. There are coconut trees and palm trees and even a star fruit tree that surround the pool, which you can see a little bit of right there. It is hot here. South of the mountains is the equator. We are sitting about three degrees north of the equator. Thus, it is hot here. But I wanted to read the scripture to you today and it's such a blessing. We have learned so much about what the body of Christ really is during all these months. And we've learned that while we love our church building, our body is more than that. So, the scripture is Matthew 15, verses 10 through 28. Then he called the crowd to him and said to them, Listen and understand. It is not what goes into the mouth that defile, defiles a person, but is what comes out of the mouth that defiles. Then the disciples approached him and said to him, Do you know that the Pharisees took offense when they heard what you said? He answered, Every plant that my heavenly Father has not planted will be uprooted. Let them alone. They are blind guides of the blind. And if one blind person guides another, both will fall into a pit. But Peter said to him, explain this parable to us. Then he said, are you also still without understanding? Do you not see that whatever goes into the mouth enters the stomach and goes out into a sewer? But what comes out of the mouth proceeds from the heart, and this is what defiles. For out of the heart come evil intentions, murder, adultery, fornication, theft, false witness, slander. These are what defile a person, but to eat with unwashed hands does not defile. Jesus left that place and went away to the district of Tyre and Sidon. Just then, a Canaanite woman from that region came out and started shouting, Have mercy on me, Lord, son of David. My daughter is tormented by a demon. But he did not answer her at all. And his disciples came and urged him, saying, Send her away, for she keeps shouting after us. He answered, I was sent only to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. But she came and knelt before him, saying, Lord, help me. He answered, It is not fair to take the children's food and throw it to the dogs. She said, Yes, Lord. Yet even the dogs eat the crumbs that fall from their master's table. Then Jesus answered her, Woman, great is your faith. Let it be done for you as you wish. And her daughter was healed instantly. The word of God for the people of God. Thanks be to God. 